Hey, what's up Android devs? Today we're gonna to take a look at what you can do to stay current on the latest tips, trends, and tools in Android development. So the number one tip that I can give you is to open up your web browsers, type for Android Weekly, enter your email, and subscribe to their weekly newsletter. As you can see here, there is a lot of great information that goes into that newsletter. You'll get that information and you'll have a really great look at what the Android community is talking about, what they're working on, what some of the new announcements, upcoming events. It'll really give you a great overview of the current state of Android development. Next up, I wanna suggest a couple of podcasts, the Fragmented Podcast and Android Developers Backstage. We'll start by looking at Fragmented. There is a lot of great episodes on this podcast. It's a great way to go in and hear nice deep dive conversations on very specific topics in the world of Android development. Next up we have Android Developer Backstage, another great option if you're into podcasts. Subscribe to both of these to listen on your car ride, in your morning commute, whenever you have a little bit of time. And again, you'll have a great option for hearing about the latest and greatest in Android development. So if you're watching this video, you probably know what YouTube is. And there's a couple great options on YouTube as well. So the first one is the Android Dialogues channel. This is awesome because it's nice bite-sized chunks of information. You can take 10 or 15 minutes, watch a video related to a topic, and just browse through the large listing as you can see here. There's a lot of topics and so you can really come back to this and pick and choose what you want to look at and when it's relevant to you. And the second YouTube channel I want to take a look at is the official Android developers channel from Google. There is just a huge, huge list of channels, of videos. You can go back here and look at small tutorials, conference videos, um, really anything related to Android development that's coming out of Google will probably end up here at some time. So the next thing I want to look at, there are a couple of blogs that you can follow to stay up to date on things like trends or tooling. So the first one is going to look at just that. It's androidstudio.googleblog.com. When you get there, you'll actually notice that there are a lot of backdated issues and they're all relevant to things like the emulator, to Android Studio. And so if you wanna be up to date on the latest uh, tools that you can be using in your daily work, this might be a great blog for you to subscribe to. Next up, there's the official Android developers blog. This is great because you get official blog posts coming out of Google related to things like new and upcoming APIs. Now subscribing to individual blogs isn't for you. Maybe you're on Medium. Medium, again, has a lot of great options out there. You can search for the Android developers and you'll find the official Medium publication coming out of Google. You can also look at Pro Android Dev, another great collection of articles, or Android Pub, again, another awesome publication. And those will really collect uh, a lot of the Android related content being published by the community. If you don't want to follow the specific publications or maybe you want more, you can search for related tags such as Android Dev or Android Development. One more great way to stay engaged with what's going on in the Android community is to check out social media. In particular, Twitter is really active in the Android community. You could subscribe and follow some of those Android developers on Twitter, on other social media accounts. Now, there's a great list you can see here that points out some of the Android GDEs or developer advocates, and those people are a great place to start following because they put out regular, great Android-related content. And this can be a great way for you to see what others are talking about and kind of build up your collection of topics that you want to learn more. Also, it's very easy on social media to search for hashtags or tags, see what people are looking at. So go into the search bar on Twitter, for example, type in Android Dev and just see what people are talking about, who's talking about what. You find somebody that says they're an Android developer, look at who they are following, who they're interacting with, and start to build up your own following of people that are posting interesting Android related content that makes it easier for you to stay up to date. If you want to dive deeper into some of these topics, you might benefit from some actual hands-on training. So search for Android training and you can find the official Android developer training page. Now if you scroll down, you'll see a lot of courses and really great information that dive deep into topics. 
So over here we'll click into an example about material design for Android developers. Now in full disclosure, I do work for Udacity, but I also was a student, so I do think that their courses are great. But if you don't want to go that route or you're looking for other things as well, another great suggestion is caster.io. They have a lot of awesome content out there developed by Android developers from the community. Now, another awesome way to stay current are Android conferences. People come together, they network, and they put together amazing presentations related to interesting and new up and coming topics. But conferences can be very expensive, and so you can't always get to go to a conference or go to every conference. But what we can do is go back and look at the recorded videos. Most Android conferences these days put their videos up online, whether it's YouTube or somewhere else. So here are a couple examples of DroidCon New York or even Google I.O. You can go in and catch up on all the videos you missed and go back and reference them later when the time is right. So my last piece of advice is to not try and focus on all of this stuff at once. We talked about a lot of ways to be current on what people are talking about, what the new libraries, trends, tips are. But if you're really trying to stay up to date, you can't necessarily learn all of this at once. So try and focus on between zero and maybe two things at a time that you can really start to devote some time to and focus on. Notice I said zero because I think it's perfectly okay to not always be switched on and actively looking at this stuff. And so give yourself that flexibility so that when you are dedicating your time, you can better absorb the material and you don't burn out and can maintain that sustained learning. So that's it. We talked through a bunch of ways for you to stay up to date on the latest tips, tools, and trends in Android development. I'd love to continue the conversation and I'd love to hear what you use or what you find helpful to stay up to date in Android development. So share on social media, leave a comment below, and I'd love to talk with you more. Thanks for watching.